Hello everyone, welcome back into Thursday night news and weather. Talking about weather right now and boy, what a day it was across the interior. Mike Schultz with you once again talking about uh, no change in the overall weather pattern. We're looking at temperatures to be in the 60s all the way through the weekend. So this is just some great weather and like I said, it's not showing any signs of change. On our satellite and radar, you can see a little bit of cloudiness trying to work its way up from the south, but it's just going to get knocked down by the Alaska range and we're still going to be looking at high and dry conditions here. More showers moving across southeast Alaska over the rest of the state. Uh, things are looking a little showery across the southwest part of the state. And then again across the interior, it looks really nice there. Just mainly very high clouds and that's it. What's going on as far as temperatures today? Well, our high today was 61, the low last night 31, the record high 66 in 1940, and the record low 20 below in 1924. Now your sunrise and sunset not quite 16 hours of daylight. We'll do that tomorrow. We gained seven minutes from yesterday. Across the state today, here's what it looks like. Over southeast Alaska, the rain has returned around the Ketchikan area. 51 degrees there. Cloudy skies at Juneau. Partly cloudy skies in the Anchorage Bowl. And around the uh, Kodiak region, some scattered showers moving back in. Showers around the Cold Bay area. Only 42 degrees there. Kind of chilly. Nice day in Bethel, though, 56 degrees there, 48, not too bad in Nome, 21 degrees in Barrow. How about that? That's our warmest temperature they've seen for a long time, and 43 degrees and mostly sunny skies at Fort Yukon. Lower 48 weather, a new system moving ashore in the Pacific Northwest is going to bring rain all the way down into Northern California, it looks like. More storms moving across parts of Texas. They don't need that. As you can see, at least it's moving pretty fast. But boy, once again, that system has been moving very slowly across the country, bringing widespread flooding rains. And as overall, uh, the West Coast, as you can see, once again, a new storm is moving in for tomorrow. It's going to bring rain all the way down, maybe into Central and Southern California. Just some showers there, the more heavier activity moving across the Northwest part of the country. And speaking of what's going to be moving it, well, the jet stream, once again, moving zonal from East to West, moving a little bit of activity across the, uh, the Northern Plains over the weekend. But warm conditions expected once again over the uh, eastern half of the country. All right, time once again for our kids' weather, and we'll wrap it up today with the teacher with an interesting uh, weather fact from Hunter Elementary School. Hello, I'm Mrs. Powers, and this is my third grade class here at Hunter Elementary School. And we have a weather fact to share with you. Class, did you know that normally rainbows last only a few minutes? But in 1194 in England, one rainbow lasted for over six hours. Whoa! As always, they're amazed. Again, thanks to Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids' weather each night. And next week, we'll do it all over again with a new set of kids from, uh, Hunter, from Joy Elementary School. And they'll have some interesting things to share with us. Forecast for tomorrow for the northern sections. Mostly sunny skies at Barrow. Sunny skies at Nome. And just scattered clouds for the Fort Yukon area. Here in the interior, another great forecast. Mostly sunny for Fairbanks. But more clouds at the Healy and Delta Junction area. But still temperatures very comfortable. Right around 60 for all three areas. For southeast Alaska, chance of rain at Juneau. Mostly cloudy skies at Ketchikan. And over the southwest part of the state. Looking at rain for Cold Bay. A few showers in Kodiak and cloudy skies at Bethel. And if you're heading on down to the Anchorage Bowl, well, it looks like not too bad of weather. Mostly cloudy skies at Anchorage and Homer, a little rain in Valdez. And our forecast for the remainder of the night, again, looking at breezes that should be dying down. Those breezes are pretty strong this evening. And uh, then clear skies and mild overnight low, 35, mid-30s. How about that? And the five-day, or I should say the uh, forecast for tomorrow, 60 degrees, very little change from today. The five-day, once again, no change at all. Temperatures right around 60 degrees each day. Overnight lows, again, in the mid-30s. No precipitation in the forecast. It is incredible, and it continues. Our photograph for tonight, this one sent in by Bruce Grossman. It was a Delta evening sunset with a little virga falling from the clouds there. As always, if you have a photograph to share, please send it to photos at ktvf11.com. That sounds like a song.
What's Just that? another Delta evening. Yeah, it does kind of like. Yeah. That was actually taken at the weather service down there too. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Be beautiful colors. Oh, and yeah. you know, it's a. It was really gusty earlier. Or later yes, it was. Yeah, yeah, breezy conditions today, but like I said, the wind should be dying down. Mm -hmm. We got a high pressure sitting over the the interior, and that's what's what's it's bringing. Just got to push through, and then it'll be clear. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you can tell it's a, a, a really busy work week when we're the only two left on the anchor desk at well, the end of the show. Yeah. Sarah was at the court today, so oh, she was yeah. pretty busy. So absolutely. Yeah. Thank let you. her get. Get her, get her second wind. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mike. That will wrap up this edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. We are glad you could join us. Well, tonight on NBC Nightly News, the world is mourning the sudden loss of musical icon Prince. And that's up next with Lester Holt. You can join us here six days a week at 6 and 11 or online anytime, webcenter11.com. And that will do it from all of us here at the News Center. Have a good night, everyone. We'll see you back here at 11.